Today, I'm sharing with you guys how to edit viral hooks like Devin Jatho, just like the one on screen. And then here is my recreation here on screen. Now, before we go ahead and get into today's tutorial, I want to let you guys know that my name is Chris Bustead and I run the Takeover Shop, where it's the editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, guys. So as you guys have seen in the intro, this is sort of the hook that we are recreating. And then here is the final result, just like so. Super, super easy to do let's go ahead and get straight into today's tutorial but real quick if you want to save yourself the time of learning how to do it yourself and you just kind of want this hook and you just want to rip it from me go ahead cop it down below my viral hooks template pack because i have updated the pack so all you have to do is just control c then control V into your timeline replace the footage just like so down below and then just replace your a roll replace the graphic just by double clicking and then you're literally good to go for the video so again if you want to go ahead skip all of the time and just have this already done for you go ahead link down below cop it it's pretty dope saves you a lot of time if you don't want to buy it i still got you i will not leave you hanging let's go ahead and get started with the raw video so first things first we're just kind of go back and forth bouncing like sort of like what's actually happening in the edit so let's go ahead and watch it through so first things first that i notice is he has some text and specifically he has text that like blinks red the top line is red and then it blinks like white and red that's cool so let's go ahead and just start working on the text first so i'm gonna go ahead and just do line one text and then i'm gonna do line two text it's like so i'm gonna control a and your text will not look like this it will not be formatted properly yet and the way you do that is you just use avenir next fonts it should come pre-installed for you but if not look it up and then use the heavy font face you could do a faux a bold as well make sure it's all caps just like so and then you go down here to the fill make it white for now and then stroke seven or just whatever looks kind of good i'm actually going to increase the size a little bit just maybe like this and then control a and then maybe make these guys a little bit tighter just like so so they're closer together and then as the first line in this video over here is red let's go ahead and just double click the first line just like so select it go to fill go to red and then you have the sort of red text effect now i'm gonna go ahead and cut this to the clip as you can see this is just a super stagnant boring text it's not like devin's so we want to first add a rotation value so you go over here you go to motion you go to rotation and just like so bring it about maybe six degrees like that and then that looks pretty good and now we're gonna go ahead and do the blinking effect and the way we do like the text blinking effect is we just Go ahead, duplicate the text. And then I'm just gonna select the word that I want to actually select. So just like this. And then I'm just gonna make it fill white, just like so. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do a flicker effect. And the way you do that is you could drag this little section up so you can see this line and hit P for opacity. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, make a sort of like blink like this, add another one, add another one just like this, and kind of just make like a little weird ramp. So that way you go from 100 opacity to zero opacity, which is going to reveal the red. So then you have like a one flicker, and then you literally just go ahead and do it just like that. Now you can play with the values just like so, just make it a little bit more random. And then I'm just going to go ahead and control C over here in these keyframes. I'm going to control V and see how that looks. It looks pretty good, just like so. And then I'm actually gonna make the bottom part a little bit longer. So maybe like this, maybe like double the size, just like so. And then we'll go ahead and just copy this entire sort of line and just paste it like so. And there you go. You, that's how you do the blinking sort of effect that Devin does in his videos. Then just control C all the way and you'll be good to go, just like so. Sweet. So now that we have that sort of effect done, let's go ahead and nest these text layers together so that we can add our shake and glow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do text and then we're gonna go ahead, go to your effects. Down below, there is a free creator pack on my website. Go download that because there will be free shakes there, but I'm just gonna go ahead, type in takeover, go to my takeover preset pack, which has all of these presets for short form content creators or long form. Uh, I just optimize them for short form. I'm um, gonna go to shake medium, drag and drop, easy as that. Then we're gonna go play through. And there we go. We're kind of already getting very, very close to what Devin's video sort of looks like. So now what else do we need to do to the text? I look at this text and see that there's actual glow that we need to add. So we're going to go ahead, duplicate the layer, and then you could either go ahead, use the takeover preset pack and just add to the duplicate just like so, and then maybe turn up the opacity just for the glow effect like that, which is pretty fire. Or if you don't have the preset pack, literally what you got to go ahead and do is you got to go to the effects tab, drag and drop it. Just like so and then turn the opacity up quite a bit maybe something like so 
or not the opacity, but the blurriness like that. And then you want to turn the opacity down to something like this. And then you have your glow effect. Super, super easy to do. Now let's go ahead and play it through. That looks pretty fire. Dope. Now, another thing that he does is he cuts it to another text saying that word, um, which I don't know why he, he censored it, but he didn't, didn't censor the word. That doesn't make sense. It makes no sense at all. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you just do the same exact process, but instead of going ahead and rotating it like this way, you just rotate it the other way. And then you go ahead, change your text, etc. But you're going to have to do this process kind of all over again. So because he switches the text right here, I'm gonna go ahead into my nested layer and just kind of make that text sort of happen. So I'm going to delete the top one because we don't need the flicker for this one. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do line three text. I'm going to go ahead and go to rotation. I'm going to do negative six. So it goes that way. And then I'm going to go to my essential graphics, go to fill, make it that nice purple color that he has. You got to select the text first. There we go. And then you go back to your video and then you can see in the text, the glow automatically like adjusts to this as well because it's nested, uh, which is dope. But let's go ahead and just turn up the opacity just so we can see the glow a bit more. Just like that. Dope. So we're actually getting there. Now, the only other step that we have to take is adding this sort of slide in animation to this sort of graphic. And this is really, really easy. All you have to go ahead and do is just go ahead and import your sort of graphic. It doesn't have to be your Instagram feed or whatever, but it can be. I'm just doing this because it's pretty similar to what he showed on screen. So I'm gonna go ahead, bring this down. And I'm actually gonna go ahead, move these text layers above because I want the screenshots to be below. So I'm gonna go ahead and just maybe keep the scale like this this scale it to something that you like or what looks good right click i'm gonna go ahead and nest it because i did i have it where i want it so we'll just do graphic just like so i spelled that really wrong but just forgive me and then i'm gonna go over into my takeover preset pack again slide in up just drag it on to the thing and then you'll see that it drags in just like that but it's not as fast as devin's so you just grab that first keyframe and make it faster just like that maybe a little bit faster fire and then let's see if there's anything else we need to add to this. So he has a slide in, but he also has it scale in as well, pretty much getting closer to the camera. So we're also gonna go ahead and add that scale. Since we already have the slide in up keyframes, we're just gonna go ahead and keyframe the scale. And then we're gonna go just like this, maybe just make it as big as we like it, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead, right click, or we're gonna hold shift, click, click, and then go to Bezier and then go ahead to this little carrot icon and then we're going to drag this out maybe bring this in just so we can see the keyframes and we're going to make like a little middle sort of ramp just like this and we'll see how that looks fire so it has like sort of like that weird or not weird but like that nice little bulge that we're looking for it's like nice zoom in like that so this looks pretty good the icon looks or the graphic looks pretty good let's again let's go ahead and grab our free takeover shake which again is free link down below go cop it it's free and then we're gonna add a shake just to add a little bit more character a little bit more life to the video a little bit more life to the edit and drag this up a little bit more as well just like this there we go that looks pretty sick. I'm actually gonna move the scale down a little bit because maybe it's too big. Fire. Okay, that looks a lot better. That's looking exactly kind of how I like it. Now, again, another thing that you guys will notice the last part to this sort of edit is the camera movement is the little push in and then also the slight zoom in throughout the entire clip. Let's go ahead and recreate those using adjustment layers. The way you do that, you go to this icon right here, new item, adjustment layer. This is creating your first camera movement. And the first camera movement, we're just gonna go ahead and do the transform. So we're gonna go ahead up here, transform. I again have another preset for this, but for tutorial sake, we're gonna do it from scratch. Go ahead, go to scale. And then we want it to zoom in the entire time. Like this so the way you do that is you go to the first keyframe zero create another keyframe by pressing the clock icon and then making it 114 whatever value and then just drag it to the end just like so now we have a dope little zoom in and that just adds like so much more character more sort of visual interest to the edit but that's not all we're going to do for camera movements another camera movement we're going to do is this zoom in just like so in the beginning and i'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop this adjustment layer down again just like so match it to where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna go drag and drop transform. And then we're gonna go to scale. We're gonna drag the 100 value out over here. And then we're also gonna just create another keyframe by zooming in like this. And then we're gonna uncheck this mark and then we're gonna drag this value all the way up. So that way, when we drag back, we have some motion blur. As you can see, there's the punch out. Now this punch out looks a little stiff. So the way you can make it look smoother is go to Bezier. Again, 
use sort of like push this out like this like so just like that and that looks super super clean so on screen is the video that we just recreated live with you guys but again if you just want to drag this into your short form content editing timeline then you can go ahead and do that using the viral template hook pack that i've created again that is linked down below anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video please leave a like comment subscribe down below i appreciate all of your guys' support remember take action take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace